Now, we're about to meet a man who has millions of fans all around the world. He's a social media sensation who makes videos all about earwax. <laughs> yeah, Reese Barber is an audiologist. Before we catch up with him, let's take a look at his work. Now, if you are eating your lunch, you might want to stop now or you might just want to glance away for 30 seconds, all right? <laughs> let's have a look. Hey everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching our TikTok today. Oh, now this was a tough old one to do. You can see this wax is really dark in colour, which means it's been in here a long old time. There's that little sneaky bit there, like on the left hand side. You spot that on the way in, so let's get rid of that. Bye bye, Mr. Wax. There you go. Let's take a look at the eardrum now behind, looking lovely and healthy. Oh, guys, that was a good one. I really enjoyed doing that one. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that was some of the milder ones because we didn't want to make people feel too ill. <laughs> it was in a the... brief call, put yeah. that on just before lunch. <laughs> so can you explain then what your job is? You're an audiologist, what are you doing? So an audiologist uh, covers anything to do with ears. So we cover hearing health, so hearing aids, hearing checks. We take a look in the ears. We can do earwax removal, tinnitus, balance. Anything you can think of to do with your ears, that's what we cover as an audiologist. Yeah. And how did you get into it? Uh, purely by accident. Not many people know what an audiologist is, so I was doing a very different job. I was actually in university and I was working a summer job as a tyre fitter. And this chap came in and was telling me about his job and I thought, that sounds like a really good job. And I applied for it, got an apprenticeship in the NHS and the rest is history. Oh wow, so you were fitting tyres Yeah, did a completely Amazing. different job. Yeah, <laughs> completely different job. Yeah, that's brilliant. So tell me then how it's ended up with you becoming this massive viral sensation. Oh, do you know what? We started off posting videos about four years ago on YouTube and we were looking at trying to demystify some of the things regarding hearing because everyone thinks when someone thinks of a hearing issue they, they immediately think of an older generation yeah. whereas hearing issues can affect anyone at any age so we've got about one in four people will suffer with hearing problems at some point in their lifetime mm. so we wanted to try and catch people a little bit earlier and, and really put home the message that we wanted the people to think about their ears at a much much younger age and start getting the help they needed much sooner than we would have done yeah. normally. Yeah. So you started posting these videos online and then they can't, I mean I know just from everyone here who's been obsessively watching them, <laughs> It's that, like the pimple popper, it's that thing of just seeing oh, things is. come out. There's a lot of satisfaction from oh, it, there isn't is. there? I mean, our videos are a bit like Marmite. You either really like them or you really hate them. But um, what you do find is that when you see these ears that are completely blocked up and, and they've really sort of struggling with their hearing, and then you go through this little video, then it gets to the end and they're all squeaky clean and everything's working really, really well. It's that satisfying feeling to it when you see it all come out yeah. and everything looks really, really good. What's the most popular video you've had? I think we had about, I think it's 26 million views, I think is our most popular video. Video, which still baffles me. I, st I do this for a job, so yeah. I love doing it anyway. But the fact that people like to watch these things and, and you know, they, they really get behind these videos and the community is absolutely fantastic as well. They're so friendly. And what were you doing in that one that's been watched by I 26 million? I was taking, there was a block of wax uh, out of somebody's ear. So it was just a very hard lump of wax that needed to come away because the patient would be experiencing a few hearing issues and a bit of discomfort in their ears as well. And that helped us to pop that out. And that's what, yeah. we, uh, that's what we showed that So one. can you explain then to me what ear wax is, what it it's for why we have it. Yeah, so earwax is perfectly natural to have earwax and uh, the amount you produce is, is down to genetics. So some people produce a very dry wax or some people produce a very wet wax. But that's a really important job in the ear. So when we look at earwax, it's, it's produced, as we know it, in the outer two thirds of the ear canal, but it contains things like little bits of dirt that have got into the ear, uh, little old sort of bits of dead skin and oil, and that all mixes together. And then the ear then expels that out. So it's, it's self-cleaning and that's what the wax is for. It's also slightly acidic as well. So it helps mm -hmm. to stop the if can I get infected so it has a really really important job yeah and and I think the thing is there's a lot of misconceptions about how to keep your ears clean aren't yeah, there massively so it, like cotton buds are a big no-no aren't they're they a massive no-no if you actually read the back of a cotton bud packet it tells you not for use inside ears you know people are, are used to thinking well they can clean the inside and it's dirty if you've got uh, earwax in their ears but that's that's just not the case mm. so the best thing to do with your ears is just to leave it well alone you'll let it self-clean that wax is always trying to come out of the ear canal so when we look at an ear, uh, if we look at this particular section here, then the wax is produced here and then just starts to expel out and will naturally fall out of the ear then at that point. So it doesn't
doesn't really cause any problems while it's in there unless it gets very, very blocked up in that year canal, and that's when we step in then to remove it. The problem, though, is it's, it can be quite satisfying. Just a lot of people you, really love it? that sensation. I know, it's I know, disgusting, I know. but it I is. I feel like I'm fighting the losing battle to the people. Yeah. Don't the cotton buds in your ears. But you can clean the outer part of this. You can clean what they call the pinnace, so just yeah. this part of the ear here with the cotton, but that's not a problem. But don't put anything down inside there, yeah, because it just causes more problems. Uh, what other kind of weirdest things you've found in people's oh, ears? We find, it's surprising what people can fit in their ears to start with. <laughs> Uh, we, find all sorts, we find all sorts in people's ears. So we find bits of hearing aids, earrings. I think some of the weirdest things I found, I found uh, plasticine in a gentleman's ear. He had no idea how it got in there. So that's a bit of a strange one. Uh, and I've also found little bits of glass. If that was a child's oh, ear. Yeah, dangerous. yeah. Little tiny shards of glass. A child was complaining of a bit of ear pain. And then when we actually took it out, there were tiny little pieces of glass in there. Yeah. yeah. And you, I imagine now off the back of this, have you, have you got clients specifically coming to you now oh because my. they're desperate to find out? We've got clients coming this. from everywhere, which is which is really great for us. But I yeah. still find that a little bit strange. And you can always tell the people who are coming in because they're fans of of, of the videos because they're the really excited <laughs> ones. So they're all jumping up and down waiting to come in. Whereas everyone else comes in looking a little bit nervous when they walk yeah. through the door. Yeah. Do, are they disappointed though if you don't pull out oh, a big log of earwax? Yeah. They, I mean, they want to see what's come out. They want to see what's in the news. I get people who want to take their wax home with them. I get people who want to take photos of it to show family members. So yeah, it's, it's all sorts. Yeah. And even you just being here today, I mean, every time I've walked past you, you've had that your little device and someone else is in Yeah, yeah we've had the endoscope in people's ears all the time. Yeah. Yeah, what so, is that? You right, use so we've it? Got, we've got a little, basically it's a little camera. So we've got a very bright light on one side. And then if I just turn it on the side, it's really easier to see. So this is the piece that goes into the person's ear. Yeah. And then we've got a little lens here and then it's displayed on the screen on the back. So we ah, can see exactly what's going on yeah. the whole time. Yeah. And, and can you tell me what are my team's ears like? Oh, your team's at fab. Are they? Yeah, oh, absolutely brilliant. Because yeah, you, you had a look at John's, didn't you? I mean, I did have a quick check at John's. His logo's all right. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's absolutely fab. Eardrums of a 20 year old, yes. Yeah. yeah. A bit dry, though, are they? No, don't, yeah. don't tell John. <laughs> <laughs> I know, literally, you Stick loved it, there. didn't you? I loved it. It was amazing. Yeah. But I love. I, lo I had it. I had them sucked out last year, and yeah. I was like, I wanted to stick the earwax home, but they wouldn't let me. Yeah. But it is like. It's beautiful. Yeah. Lots of people, and they, a lot of people like that sensation because we were talking about the cotton buds and that sensation in your ears with that sort of deep scratch that you get. Mm. When you're having your ears cleaned out, it's that feeling of sort of openness in the ear canal afterwards and that feeling of that sort of deep tickling and scratching you get when you get it removed. Yeah, you like a deep tickle and a scratch, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the deeper the better. But what I found was when you got when you got your earwax taken out, you could hear S's better. Oh yeah, like yeah. Well, like the, 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 the S sound is a very quiet sound. It's in the very high frequency range of your hearing, so it's one of the first ones to get affected when we have hearing loss as well. So it doesn't take a lot of, uh, to dampen that sound, and you start to lose those yeah. very quiet, yeah. softer, high frequency sounds. Amazing. And of course, we should say if you are worried about your ears, definitely go and get them checked. Oh out. yeah, any change in your hearing, definitely come along and see an audiologist and get your hearing checked. Uh, you can get it done for free in most places. So just come along, have a chat with us. We're lovely people and we'll go through any Yeah, we can see you're a lovely person. <laughs> it's lovely to have you, Reese. Thank you very much. You are much. more than welcome.